Hi, Mike. Hello? <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hey. How's it going? It's quiet in here. There's no music anymore. What happened? Oh. <laughs> well, I can tell you it's about 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh -huh. Rainy. Yeah. We got a light rain. Expected to be 63 tonight. Okay. Dark. <laughs> You don't gotta say it's dark. <laughs> when you say it's, it's night. dark out, it's it's dark out. <laughs> Minimal sun at night. There's no sun here. It's the. It's so weird. That's <laughs> so weird. It's like the grid. There's <laughs> weather, but no sun. <laughs> um. Well, uh, it snowed for like an yeah. hour or so. It, that What's that like? like? Um, <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> sometimes it's, uh, it's nice. Sometimes it's pretty. Other times it's just annoying. Uh, imagine mm. if rain was extra cold, uh, a it little persisted on the ground. Yeah. Well, sometimes if it doesn't, if it doesn't persist on the ground, it'll just magnetize to your face as it falls oh. for some reason. It's a very strange phenomenon. <laughs> <clears throat> and it, it's only yeah it just goes straight to the eyes it's very nice um <laughs> uh it looks f nice and fluffy but it's actually just secret pockets of wet that are out to get you uh particularly oh. your toes your fingers uh it's a way to lose extremities in, you know, oh, in high fashion uh, but i do like snow okay. snow is great if you're prepared for it that's it yeah, yeah I'd, uh probably uh you remember the movie cool runnings <laughs> Yes, I remember the, the often character. referenced yeah. film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool Runnings, mm -hmm. classic film. Classic. Sanka, Sanka, the character. He gets so cold when he goes to Canada. Uh -huh. He wears all of his clothes at once. That's a and the bag that they came in. They... That would be me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the. Uh... The Cool Runnings Minute was brought to you by the ghost of John Candy and the confusion of John Candy and uh, Louis Anderson. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the confused identities of. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're here. It's Cool we're Runnings. Here. It's a little colder for you. I'm, I'm, it's just as cold as it's been for me since maybe since we started the podcast. It's just it's it's never been any warmer. So yeah. God, it's been so hot here. <laughs> Well, um, it was 81 degrees Fahrenheit today in, in the afternoon, 90% humidity. <laughs> I just woke up in my bed just just feeling miserable and just fucking like dying in soup <laughs> that I can't even, like I'm not even outside. I have AC running. It doesn't help. <laughs> just, dude, all right. You can't quick. escape. When I was living in my dad's efficiency, this is a this is a Miami term. I don't know if anybody else uses it. It's basically like the room in the side of the house that's blocked off that people can okay. legally live in or legally. Um, <clears throat> he had like a space for me. I was just living in there, yeah. but it had no AC and nothing. But it didn't even have windows. And um, <clears throat> half of it mm -hmm. was like an addition that was like wooden. And dude, it was just... It was just being in an oven. Like, I would that's, just wake up awful, with just, like, yeah, just drenched. But then, the like, my only remedies were cold showers. <laughs> and, and then the occasional, I would just open my refrigerator and just sit in front of it. <laughs> just try to cool <laughs> off. Yeah, man. It's like, you know, like, I don't know. Like, I think it's shown in the movies a few times, especially older movies, where they would just show the guy... Uh, so like someone sitting at a small uh, dining table eating his food next to the refrigerator with the door open towards yeah. his back, mm -hmm. and then it's just like, yeah, I understand now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I totally get why this guy's doing this. It's terrible. It's a ter <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, uh, anyways, welcome to the podcast. Welcome, Mike. Mike, <laughs> uh, humid. I'm pretty cold. Yeah. Uh, got nowhere to go. Oh, yeah. Glad you're here. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm 
an extra stuffy. I, I, I feel like I, in my own skull, it sounds like I'm holding my nose, but I'm not. Um, I saw my uh, allergist uh, oh. doctor uh, mm-hmm. on Thursday. Okay. Uh, she uh, had a look at me, and I heard the phrase, well, that's not good. <laughs> so uh, that's where I'm at. <clears throat> that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Just starting yeah. on a high note. <laughs> Um, all right, so if you're watching, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or whatever, just subscribe and follow and like and comment and tell us to cheer up. Um, after the show, we're going to be playing some Astroneer. Um, we're going to keep going with that. Uh, Mike, you got to give me your video so I can edit it. To edit it, 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 it. Yeah, I got to do it. We will. Uh, I'm going to try to have two Astroneer videos up this week. Uh, the one, or, okay. the one from last week, which is really fun, and the one coming up um, that we're going to play today. Um, so if you're watching the VOD or you're on YouTube, you will probably see our playlist of Astroneering. Uh, check it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, me, Mike, sometimes Chad, friends of the show. We're just It's just us riffing for about a, yeah. <laughs> a few hours at a time. It's <laughs> Trying to remember what we're doing. While yeah, we're try- <laughs> just, we just kind of just wake up on these planets <laughs> going, what the hell? <laughs> happening anyways uh, are we playing efficiently no not at all uh we're just having fun we're having a lot of fun though but i i'm still like i keep not now that we're i feel like uh you know look watching the videos and stuff i'm getting to this rotation on youtube of like it's starting to throw astroneering astroneer like videos at me and it's like uh, things you need to know the fastest way to do it. i'm like i don't you know what don't even tell me i just want to keep wandering around just lost yeah yeah it's so much fun um i don't know there's uh, there's a lot of that it's a lot of uh just how content creation around games is now i saw one for harry potter just recommended to me mm. uh, on youtube yesterday of how to earn infinite xp or how to get op Ugh. fast and just <laughs> yeah i guess how to how to not enjoy your games and not have fun just like it i guess <laughs> yeah I don't, I don't know man don't get it i don't get it um but anyways yeah so if you want to you can you guys are also free to join us if you want on the stream just you know don't ruin the game for us just knock the door yeah knock on the door knock on the door we'll let you in and then uh yeah you gotta know the password though you gotta yeah and to know the password you have to join our discord yay that's right uh there's gonna be a link for that somewhere wherever you're watching this uh the password is definitely not one two three four i did hey man (laughs) What? Come on. Gosh. All oh, right. The... <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Anyways, uh, so um, yeah. If you're watching live, if you got any questions, you can just ask them. You can use your channel points, but honestly, at this point, I don't really care. Just ask. We'll answer them. Um, anything mm-hmm. else? Podcast. I'm going through a list. Oh, uh. We started it this week. It was a lot of fun. We're going to start doing a weekly um, movie night. Uh, we did it, what was it Friday night for you, Mike? Right? It was a Thursday. No, it was Friday. What are you talking about? I think it was, was yes. it, it was Friday. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, what? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So uh, Friday night, uh, I think we did it at, oh, was it 8 p.m.? Eastern time, something like that. Yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. But you know, that subject change or whatever. But we were watching. Uh, we saw Tron Legacy. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's the perfect really good film. Movie. It's the perfect film. <laughs> All right, I think. <laughs> All thanks there, to Daft Punk. Mostly, yeah. This guy's carried that movie. Mostly Daft Punk. Uh, it's, also, it's pretty incredible. There are fantastic, like that movie is just full of beautiful. Every time Jeff Bridges speaks, it's just. <laughs> Like it's bio digital jazz, man. It really is, you know. Ridiculous. Um, but yeah, if you want to hang out and watch movies with us, uh, we stream them on our uh, voice channels and stuff. So come hang out. I don't know what we're gonna watch next. Uh, if we don't decide uh, something, maybe we'll just put a vote up or something on the Discord. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But uh, yeah, to do that. it's a lot of fun, and uh, Tron's great. But anybody who tells you otherwise is. Uh, it's just a fun ride, man. Just yeah. Like, if, if you liked it the first time, you're gonna keep liking that movie. Like, <laughs> that movie doesn't like 
get doesn't wear out on consecutive views it's one no, of those it's, it's, it's kind of it, special like that yeah it's like it's just a solid story it's got a solid story yeah. it's got pretty good pacing all the visuals the visuals are ridiculous they're so consistent uh it's not like you know i don't know it's, it's i don't know what it, it's not citizen kane but also none of you have ever seen <laughs> citizen kane so it doesn't matter i don't know why we still make I, that I fucking comparison <laughs> nobody's seen it have you seen it mike Uh, nope yeah i saw like 10 (laughs) minutes of it i was like and i fell asleep it was late it's our citizen kane is the phrase or something i don't know well the idea okay old man moment uh the reason why people use the term citizen kane is because it's the first time that a lot of like the elements in good uh visual storytelling as far as film goes were all combined using like pans Uh and zooms and all you know all the techniques we use today that we're used to, it was like the first time like the language of film was like properly used in almost all in every way almost. Gotcha. Uh so That's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. At the time it was still very people were were unsure how to use these things, but <sighs> nowadays, every anytime somebody says it's the citizen cane of just powder your hand and give them a good old slap because they don't know what they're talking about they haven't seen it <laughs> give them a little power slap yeah just just <laughs> and make sure you wind it back oh, God, I, we're not... I don't i honestly don't think we have to worry about anyone bringing up citizen Kane. <laughs> i think the way like people talk about media uh-huh. has just like moved so far past that mike just I... keep calling me old just <laughs> <laughs> well like i'm just saying i can't wait for citizen kane to have a reboot mm. Or a remake and be franchised. Can we not? Can we not? <laughs> I think six movies. <laughs> Shameless plug. Check out my article about remakes and reboots on my website. Yeah. Um, what? Yeah. Let's not do, do that anymore. Let's not. Let's let. Let's be creative, humans. Yeah, yeah. Just do your own thing. You don't have to. It's you really can like... reference things. That's great. Everybody loves references. Well, right. Depends on the reference, right? Well. It's cool, but it, I'll tell you what. It's, if it's, I made like, a it's like if do you like the the game Gex? <laughs> no, <laughs> exactly. It's not fucking good. <laughs> wait, wait, hold how, on. About, how about Conquerors Bad Fur Day? <laughs> <laughs> that German game. <laughs> <laughs> Conquerors Bad Fur Day. What? What did you say? <laughs> I don't know that word. What's a Conquer Bad Fur Day? <laughs> Is that a dish? Um, I'll tell you what, if I make a film, I'm a hundred percent gonna have somebody say bio digital jazz, man. I'll tell you that. Uh yeah, that'd be good. Reference is great. Reboots and remakes, just flip it. Um mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all right, anyways, let's move along. Uh move along. Moving along. Mike, what have you been playing lately? What's new in your life? I have a list of things uh, I've been, been playing, so I'll I've keep been them trucking. Honest. I've been trucking a lot. I've been playing this game called Snow Runner. Are you right? There's not a lot of there's not a lot of snow in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know where the snow ran off to, but it's still running. I'm chasing it. <laughs> Damn it! All right, Dad, just just sit down. <laughs> I'll get someone to pick you up. Just wait. <laughs> Might be a little preview for a Red Dead play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, well, yeah, we're not. I guess it's not official. Nothing's official. Who cares? Uh, we're after Astroneer, we're thinking of doing a Red Dead. Uh, Red Dead Online, yeah. Yeah, it's, we played a little bit yesterday. It was a lot of fucking fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. That was, uh, uh, so you've been trucking. Didn't do snowing. shit. Didn't do shit, but it was a lot of. Fun. Oh, we didn't do anything. We just we, we just committed <laughs> heinous crimes. Um, I saw a cutscene and my character got swindled. <laughs> <laughs> and then we jumped off a waterfall. Yeah, it was great. It's a fish. That's fantastic. Became a fish. Anyways. No. Um yeah. Uh, how's how's the how's the trucking going in SnowRunner? Oh, I played some more today. Uh I'm actually enjoying it. It's a chill time. Uh the game is very brutal up front though. It's one of those types where it is a sim type game, but it just doesn't tell you jack all of what you're supposed to be doing and how you're supposed to do it really. I love that. Uh, I think there's, like, an encyclopedia in the game if you want to really dive into, like, techniques and shit. Yeah. I don't want to. 
<laughs> I'm figuring I'm figuring things out okay, but like man, it is brutal up front because like they don't give you barely any money to upgrade your shit. No. Vehicles are very expensive to buy from the store. Um and there's just a shit ton of mud everywhere and <laughs> you just can't unlock mud tires. <laughs> you just can't do it. You just have to keep looking for it. And it's just so difficult to go through mud without mud tires. Just lay down, you know, twigs. You get that traction, right? You, know. <laughs> you can't get out of your car, Oh, over. what the fuck? What you kind of a of the... dystopia? <laughs> it's Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> it's dystopia's name, Mi- Yo, Michigan. I'm not going to lie. I've been to Michigan before. It's cold. Oh, there. yeah? It's scary. Yeah. That, that place is not, it's not for the lighthearted, man. Oof. Anyway. It seems rough. Yeah, there's a it's nice like lake a though. Place to... Nice lake. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's that's, cool. that's not true either. Lake Michigan, I swam in it. It's nice to swim in. Mm-hmm. It's impossible to get to because the whole fucking shore is just rocks. I hated it. Move along. Oh Jesus. Sorry. Yeah. That sounds awful. Man. I don't know, dude. That was like 20 years ago. <laughs> Move along. <laughs> but it just cemented in your mind. Yeah. Just going like I'm going to the beach. I'm like this is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus going Christ. from like Miami to like Lake Michigan. And yeah. Be like, what? What is this? <laughs> yeah. Like you can't even sit here. And, like just no walk in. the northerners come down to Florida. Oh, gosh, just the like just put sand. Anyways, move along. Sorry. Yeah. So you're stuck so, in yeah, mud. I'm slowly, ch- st- slowly chipping away. But okay. I will say, like, it is really satisfying to like overcome those challenges because it's just like. I, I think because a lot of sim games I tend to bounce off of. I, I, I like cars. I, I do aesthetically mostly uh, like cars a lot, race cars, just a full rate, full range off. I, I tend to like uh, gravitate towards like off road, uh, like rally or derby cars, that okay. kind of thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, like I bounce off of racing games, like even the off road ones tend to just. They just the way they play. I t- typically just don't enjoy it that much, and mm. I just I always give it a shot every couple of years, but it's just always the same thing. Um, yeah. But this game, this game, it's like every road is basically a problem that you have to solve. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like it, it comes down to interesting, like like you just have to think about logistics all the time of how you're going to get to point A to point B, and uh, that could be really uh, fun because. Uh, you have to, you're set in, like, the first map is in Michigan, but it, there's multiple maps. So there's a lot of maps in this game now because they keep updating it. And uh, there's a, typically, like, in Michigan, there was, it's, like, post a... Uh, 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 Apocalyptic. Sorry. Yeah, it was post, uh, pretty much. It was post, like, a, a natural disaster where it was a major flood. Oh, no. And uh, so, like... The water's gone now, but like uh, everything's just kind of like in tatters. The roads are messed up. You, there's power lines down. There's bridges are gone. So like you you have to use like warehouses, lumber yards, and just like uh, just different uh, points around the map to get resources and bring them to the places they need to be to fix the problems around the wor- the the map so that you have better logistics and better movement through the the map so you can continue to do more and more difficult uh uh trucking because <laughs> you you do have to they give you some like semi trucks basically like hem- heavy semi truck but you're not getting that shit through mud <laughs> it's just not going anywhere man and so you you have to you really have to figure shit out but the game just tells you fucking nothing dude it doesn't like tell you anything or something. Do you get some? Yeah, yeah. You can you can winch your your vehicle, but like you have to have a place to winch it to. And Wait, how are you winching? Places... If you can't get out of your truck. You just like magic winch. It just it just it magic winches. Yeah, pretty <laughs> wait, much. wait. Do you... you get you get you can set an anchor point to where a part of your car, so it's not even just fixed to like say the front of the car, for oh, example. Okay. So you can start the winch from the side, the back, <laughs> or the front. Do you like and, shoot uh, the winch out? Is it like, like yeah, a pretty much? It's just there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's there, there, there. That's what a achievement in the game just called. Get over here. Oh god, 
Of course. And that's if you winched yourself closer to something. That's <laughs> okay. so, cool. You know. All right. Um, um but yeah, it's a it's a big open world game. Uh it's fun to explore. It's uh it's possibly the closest one of the closest things to a strand type game, I no, wanna stop say. Stop it, stop it. Don't but you don't you, you fucking can't, dare. You can't you can't like uh you can't rebuild the world though. Then it's like not strand. Definitely... What that's the strand. That's what you're doing. Yeah, I, I well I'm not I'm saying closest thing. I didn't say it was a strand type game. That's it's a, an if, important if, distinction let, all let me, let me make, strand let... type game is specifically like online, specifically uh... like people are dropping things in your world, you're dropping things in their world. You're connected. And Look, you're I'm... you're what? I'm not going to excuse my sensitivity when it comes to criticisms towards Death Stranding, okay? So, if you if you say the <laughs> word stranding, I, you know, ears go up, all right? It's all <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just said strand don't, like... don't, don't tell me American Truck Simulator 2020 is as close to Death Stranding as we're going to get, all right? Well, I hope not. I hope yeah. more games actually do that. <laughs> but I'm just saying it's the closest thing I've ever played that, okay. uh, that isn't Death Stranding. Fair enough. Because it is like it is all about movement and how you move through the world, and like how the it, like, because you you have to think about like what your truck can do, the the size and weight of your truck, for instance, and how much it could potentially deform the ground underneath you. Because that's that's also a really cool thing about it. You're deforming like mud tracks and stuff around the world. And that shit stays there, like it doesn't change. Hmm. So like you're you're also creating obstacles for yourself as you move through it. And like one of the uh, cool things uh, about going one way is go- trying to go back the other way. And that's typically a whole different story which is all de- uh like just made based on like elevation and where the ground is solid or not. So like there's, it's all about like moving through the world and just how you're gonna get from one point to the other. So that's that's where I draw my comparisons to this Stranding. Fine, but do you die? <laughs> like, come on! Like, are we dealing with? <laughs> are there whales, Mike? <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say the next two games you've been playing um, appropriately yeah. as as uh, presented in our in our documentation. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Mike, how's Valheim? Well, Valheim, Valheim is pretty good. Yeah. I guess it's Enjoying going Valheim. on. We're it's chilling. Good. In. Yeah. It's good. I was uh, hanging out with some friends this week. Yeah. Uh, we didn't really do a whole lot other than just remodel a couple of things, and uh, mm-hmm. someone built me a. a, a on one of those little like race car beds. Okay. That was pretty cool. See, you can't. This is. <laughs> See what? What? Yeah. Dude, yeah, game, made me games a race mean car nothing bed. anymore. Games mean. <laughs> what did you say? A race car bed? In you know, yeah, Viking you know, like land? a little kid. What? Why? Yeah, yeah. Why? What? Yeah. What are we doing? What are we? That was is, fun. Is everything Fortnite? Because that's what I'm hearing right now. I'm hearing everything <laughs> oh <my God>. Fortnite. <laughs> you're trying. You're trying your best. I know you are. <sighs> You're dead space, dead space. Training. Forget it. Dead space. Stop talking about your. <laughs> dead space. You like dead space? Is it good? Dead space is fantastic. He said it was the best game he's played in forever. That's what he said. Something like that. That's not a direct quote. It's it's definitely uh I I I, I it is just fantastic. It's a really really solid game. Like uh uh like pretty much they refreshed the entire game from two thousand and eight. Uh added voice acting added more layers to the existing story in the perfect way like it it takes everything that was good from the original and added so much more to it and like honestly like if more remakes were like that i feel like god damn dude like this is this is by uh, hands down one of my favorite games for sure um like it's just really solid. I I will say like uh, the only negatives I have on it because uh, it didn't like the original game suffered from the same problem is that it it is a little long in the tooth where it it might it feels a, like at least two to three hours too long by That's the end lot. of the game it, it starts <laughs> That's a lot. And, uh, yeah. well by the end like it it's twelve chapters long and 
uh, I spent 22 hours in the game trying to do as much as I could in my first playthrough. And uh, yeah, the end, the final like climactic end ends of the game are pretty left field and just kind of out there. I think the like the final boss is really cool, but getting there just kind of felt like a slog because uh, the enemies in the game uh, they're they're good and all, but like by that point you're you're so upgraded and just like they're just nothing to you at that point. It's just it's pretty easy and it's just like each encounter just doesn't really hold the same weight as like the first couple hours of the game where you really are just scared to go in each room, struggling. That's the whole game, Mike. What are you talking moving, about? Right. I, I wouldn't walk through the first fucking door. <laughs> What do, you, what do you mean? I, uh, man, uh, mm -hmm. I wish. I, yeah, I, I. That game is just so good, man. I think you'd really like yeah, it yeah, if yeah, you yeah. could get past the. If I can get the... past the fear part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nah, it's so cool. good, man. I don't like being stressed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. There's a part of me that really doesn't understand the love of being in nightmares because I don't like nightmares. <laughs> I just never. I've never enjoyed a nightmare. I've never woken up from a nightmare and be like, "Ooh, that was uh, awesome." It's usually like God. Yeah, no, I mean, why is my there's, brain there's... trying to kill me at night? That's how it feels. <laughs> and then, like, to do it when I'm awake, and to like then put like some kind of like performance demands on me on top of that. Uh, <laughs> nah, I'm cool. Uh, yeah. Nah, space is scary enough. <clears throat> Don't add things to it. It's infinite. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's horrifying. I mean, being being lost in space is like the one of my fuck being my lost rational fears being found in space just being there it's terrifying <laughs> being in space it's the it's yeah. everything it's literally yeah. you just you're just in the sea of fucking nothing forever <laughs> yeah literally <laughs> forever it's die. horrifying until you die at least you know <laughs> okay <laughs> there you go the sweet yeah. release yeah uh, all right, that's, I mean, that's shit, this. dude. If you're lost in space, I'd hope for death soon. God damn. <laughs> just be found. <laughs> just end it, dude. Fuck that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, all but, right. Uh, so dead, space. dead space, fantastic. Uh, it is it. a little like it, it. It did not really fix the problem of the original game towards the end of the game, but like the adjustments to the early parts of the game and just adding the story, the voice acting. Just the the overall visual quality of the game, fantastic. All right, these guys went to so much detail <laughs> on the zombies. By the way, uh -huh. holy fuck, dude! What do you mean? They're so, zombies? Like, just think that they're aliens. Well, yeah, yeah, they're well, they're basically zomb zombie aliens. Is they're any, called okay. necromorphs. Are you telling me everything? Like they're 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 humans that are converted into monsters. So zombies, All right. pretty much. Man, um, okay. So, I think we just identified the two genres of video game. <laughs> <laughs> it's zombie and Fortnite, right? Like, is this it? Oh this is all we fucking got now. Everything well, is if zombie. you want to break it down to that little, uh, this is what I it guess feels you like. Can if you want, uh, <laughs> it's okay. We have good news coming up, so it's fine. It's fine. good news. What are you talking about? Yeah, we got so much good news. What are you talking about? No, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, like, we're gonna, we're talking about, like, I'm not talking about good things. Like... You are talking about good things. I'm just saying <laughs> okay. the, the future okay. of gaming is just, I don't know. I get sad well, yeah, and worried. We, got, we, got, we, could, we, we got a lot of good stuff. When I have to say the words Fortnite, it's a bad sign. It's not I mean, you don't have to I don't have to, but I feel compelled is the problem. I'm compelled. <laughs> okay, well, I'm that like, sounds oh, like a personal problem. Well, like when you're talking about fucking <laughs> race car beds in your Viking wonderland, I'm a little concerned, okay? Well, that was creatively made. It was freehand made. They just did it for fun. It wasn't like you literally placed a race car bed in the well, game. I don't know. I haven't played your game. I'm not part of the fucking... <laughs> PC Master well, you didn't race. wonder. You just you just immediately went to. You said race car bed. What do you? What do you? What am I supposed to? <laughs> what image does that conjure? It doesn't conjure a fucking. <laughs> well, a Viking, you didn't ask. Did it's not you? a Viking like, craftsman. You didn't like, inquire any more information. You just went straight to Fortnite. <laughs> Is there a bus? And do you fall out of no. it? Can, can you make a Viking no. bus? I mean, we probably can mod. That. Fucking a. You see? You see, Mike? Yeah, you can probably just... mod that. I mean, games where you can just mod anything. You know, it's a great game, Mike. What's that? Monster Hunter Iceborne. Oh my god, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, I I didn't get the real quick. A uh, last yeah. little bit of Dead Space. Uh -huh. Last little bit. Of this. All right, okay. before we move on. Yeah. So they they went into so much detail on the zombies that like okay, so you you play a character who has like a plasma cutter, 
because he's an engineer. And he can use the plasma cutter to dismember the monsters, and that's how you truly kill them. Like, if you cut off their head, it doesn't work. You have to dismember them, and then that's, that's how they die. That's rude. So, like, you cut off their arms, you cut off their legs, basically. But, like, these guys are, they are converted humans, and they have, like, their limbs are all contorted, and they have, like, new features such as, like, giant, like, sword-like limbs and everything like that. So, like, uh, when you shoot them with a plasma cutter, it doesn't just, like, cut the limb off immediately. It first, like, peels the flesh off, and you just see the flesh fly off of that limb, and then you just see the bone underneath it, and then you can just cut the limb off. Yeah. <laughs> like, they went into... Like, this is so much more detailed than the original game, which, like, they're, hor they're horrific monsters. They are gross in the original, but, like... Okay, so you get a thing called the Force Gun in this game, uh -huh. where it just shoots a huge wave, right? A huge force wave at them to push back, basically. And this just knocks the flesh off of their everything. Just you just like you shoot them once, and then they're just a skeleton, and they're still coming at you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like it's so detailed. It's like it's it's pretty damn impressive. <laughs> So if if you like horror shit, if you like that kind of type of gore, I typically don't, but video games really don't bug me. I hate that shit in movies, but in video games like Dead Space, I'm totally fine with it. I thought it was rad. Uh, okay. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. I don't need a Cronenberg game. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking look. Oh, man. It's so right. good. <laughs> Dead space. Play it. Lose your flesh. Got it. Yeah. Or no. Make them lose their Knock, flesh. Knocks the yeah. flesh right off. <laughs> yeah. Bet you yeah, put it yeah. on the box. That'd uh, be good. All right. That was gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. All right, Monster Hunter. <laughs> I'm still playing that. Doesn't stop. Help me. Yeah, help me stop playing Monster. I try. I, I try. I got you to stop a little bit yesterday. Yeah. Well, once you <laughs> once you went to sleep, I just turned back on ice. I was like, really? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm almost done though. I I I finally beat a Latrion on the second run. Um. Oh, nice. So it's just Fatalis now. That's a big achievement. Nice. Oh, I got carried. I mean, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just rolled the dice over and over again. <laughs> it's just somebody can take them out before I hit all three cards. So, uh, oh man, yeah, I can't help it. I I don't have the gear for it, and I just I I mean I could, I could go through the grind, but honestly, like I've been at it for a bit, and it's like um, it's starting to wear out. It's welcome, so I kind of need a no. I need something to switch to, but also mm -hmm. I I'm so close to the end. It's like I don't want to just let this like sit and just not complete it. I I'd feel bad about it. So, um, yeah, mm -hmm. that. Um, what else? Uh, so yeah, Iceborne. That's fun. You should play it, people out there in the world. It's <laughs> Me, fun. you, if <laughs> Me you want. Specifically. Yeah, you should. Uh, but yeah. What else? Um, uh, I kind of dropped Iconoclast. Um, yeah. Actually, two reasons. Two reasons I dropped that game. One of them is a technical reason. The other one's a game reason oh you First, ran into a technical problem it, not a, it's not even a problem i was just annoyed uh no oh. i tend to, i play on my vita and it's a great uh it's my commuting game machine keep it in my pocket pull it out while i'm uh on the train it's cool mm -hmm. vita can use like bluetooth headsets right headphones it's great so i use my yeah. airpods uh when i'm playing on the train because having a cable on a crowded train is a fucking recipe for disaster yeah, it sounds bad. It's, these are Tokyo trains, all right? Someone's elbows at my ass half the time. It's like, you don't, you don't, you know, it's hard. Oh, no. Yeah, we're just sardines all the time. It's like car jitsu. It's like car <laughs> Yeah. That, that's what I want to do when I'm on those freaking, when I got some <laughs> smelly uh, salary man who clearly hasn't showered, just got out of the bar, on his way into work. I'm just like, get out of my face. You, anyway. Uh, yeah, we uh so when you turn off the Vita, it automatically disconnects from the Bluetooth. Which kinda sucks. Oh, I see. But you know, it's it's fine, I guess. 
because mm-hmm. you could just turn it back on and just connect it. It's not very hard to connect. It's just a few things in the menu, right? But for some reason, Iconoclast won't let you go to the settings while the game is running. And every other game lets me do it. So it means oh, I can't really like listen to it. And I don't know how important the audio is, but I feel like there might be... Well, it's two things. I feel like there might be cues that I might be missing when I'm playing. I see. And also, <clears throat> it's hard for me to play a game without audio generally like i i need yeah yeah i need that um right part of the experience so that was one thing uh kind of turned me off but also yeah like we have talked about it before that game is just dark and depressing and yeah just it takes a big it takes a pretty big turd i think they they wanted to lure you in with like the the happy visuals the, the the animations are so poppy and energetic yeah uh, and the dialogue isn't so bad in the beginning. It's it's a very cute, starts off very cutesy. You have some fun characters along the way, and then like just characters become just full of hate, and they just like they just become so just enamored with the hatred, and they don't move past it. Like I've seen the rest of the game, and like the characters that are hateful just die in hate. Like they just like yeah. There's no happy ending for them. Like. Yeah, it's, it's just it, it's, it's it's hard to get through. Make, yeah, and and yeah. but also like it's been too vague for too long. Like I'm not really yeah. invested because I just don't know what the fuck's going on. And every little inch I get, I got to do so much gameplay to get to that. And right. the gameplay is fine, but it's not like it's not that great. It's like it's good, but it's not. Yeah, you know, it's tight. The levels are cool, but there's still a lot of backtracking that you got to do, and it's. I keep being interested in things, but then when I when I get a little bit of an answer, it comes at the cost of like a really depressing story point, and it's just like I don't. Right. So yeah, I'm kind that's of that's your reward. <laughs> just being yeah, depressed. basically, yeah. So I kind of mm-hmm. dropped that. Uh, but another game I just want to mention really quick that I can't stop playing is Threes. I, I showed you it a bit. Yeah, just a puzzle you game. Me the last thing, yeah. Yeah, it's a puzzle game on uh, you can get it on Apple Arcade. Uh, really fucking good. It's a match three game. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> You're just batching threes with threes and sixes uh, of sixes and twelves with twelves. It's and... the perfect game for when you're waiting and you have your phone. Yeah. It's <laughs> a perfect game. Uh it, yeah, it's just re- it's just a really good phone game. Um so that's it. Nice. That's that. I've been busy. Boo. Yeah. So. Pretty pretty busy week for me as well. Yeah. So let's get into it. Let's talk about let's get into it. Let's talk about fucking Nintendo Direct. Holy crap uh there's a lot of stuff i can't even remember all that stuff they showed it was just yeah there's a lot uh i've yeah. i've been uh i've been weary uh, so i'm i'm pretty I'm not involved but i i'm i hang around the nintendo online communities a bit i, f- I think they're really interesting because you get a good mix of like age ranges and uh and they're like some of the least toxic believe it or not yeah <laughs> kind of uh maybe depends yeah i mean i don't know i've seen like i've been to like the official like playstation discord is a fucking whew. oh boy whew. uh i couldn't that even i scary. just i just hung out for 10 minutes like not for me i don't want to do this <laughs> whole like there's a, like there's there's a lot less uh like personal boasting about like power and stuff because you're you know you can't really do that with nintendo hardware right oh um, i see okay but um interesting yeah but uh <laughs> Yeah, I try to I, I, I hang around these places, and there. I mean, it's like the one downside of all every Nintendo Discord uh, or uh, Twitter account or whatever is just that they're constantly begging for fucking directs every ten seconds. It is unbelievable. Oh, no, so dude. desperate for news. Um, they they got to stop. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, they got it, and so you know. Uh, we, we got the direct and i'm kind of watching it and it is it hit here it was like 7 a.m when it played here and it was just like banger after banger after banger um so yeah, definitely gotta talk about it um, it's it opened up with the uh, pikmin 4 yeah pikmin 4 and that looks incredible super hype on pikmin 4 uh yeah. i i, I, really I haven't, like I haven't played pikmin since the original so How dare you <laughs> i just <laughs> I just haven't had access to the other games, man. Yeah, Pikmin's great. Uh, it's only been getting better. Co-op changes changes it significantly. It's so much fun. Is, it, is the is four gonna have co-op? I, they haven't said it, 
but three did, and yeah. the three remaster added co-op to the story, which uh, oh, so I think I mean it's I feel like it's a given, uh, or it should be at least okay. But it really changes up how you play, and uh, you know I'm not much of like a high score guy, but it feels yeah. really good when you're like doing co-op and then you get pretty, you know, you're getting better and better times and stuff at the challenge modes and stuff. It's so much fun. Okay. Yeah. Nice. nice. Um, but yeah, Ice Pikmin look cute. The game looks cute. You know, generally. yeah, that's right. They added Ice Pikmin. That's right. And the yeah. dog. The dog. <laughs> the... There's a dog in the game now. It has no nose. It's a little, a little, a little weird, but. Yeah. It's kind of it. It looks a little like uh like the Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi what's it? Dog. Po- Pookie, Poogie, Poochie. Not Poochie. Poogie's from uh, Monster Hunter. Everyone's got a Poogie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Poochie. <laughs> but you know, yeah. whatever. I'm I'm curious to see how how it plays out. Um, yeah, that's a definite and, buy. The character's name could potentially just be Captain Shepard. Yeah, so you know what that means, <laughs> right? Yeah, this is this is, this is my it's favorite. The Reapers. the Reapers are coming. That's right. This, this is my favorite <laughs> garden on the Citadel. Uh, yeah. Oh, and they they also showed nighttime gameplay. Yes, which is kind of hype. I was kind of yeah, excited. I was like, oh, interesting. Or maybe that's never been in the games before. Right, right? You, you leave. always leave the planet. Yeah, yeah. At night. So I want to Pikmin after dark. See what happens on that. Yeah. <laughs> no, you maybe it's like a a type of game where you land at night, but like you have to get loot, and then you have to watch out for other players because they also want that loot. Jesus, my. So, so. <laughs> Are you I'm ch- basically saying that the nighttime could be like Tarkov? Okay. I'm basically yeah, I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna go the battle royale like fucking. Yeah, I hope. I just... I'm I'm being completely cynical when Jesus I say this because I really I don't like those games. We're <laughs> <laughs> we gonna play Rust, man. You ready? Oh, so God. down to play Rust. Please no. <laughs> I just want to make a base and be harassed. And <laughs> be harassed and be <sighs> hunted with a man with a stone. Yeah, that's it. A that's, naked man with a stone. That's my you dream. Just start that game naked. Um, what else? We can go over the big games. Uh, yeah, Fantasy yeah, yeah. Life. Fantasy Life looks cool. Yeah, man. Uh, I didn't know much about it until you explained a little bit more to me last night. But yeah. that it looked great. I'm, I'm super down to play that. Like, it just that uh, it looks great. Yep, 3DS one is is so good. Um, it's a, it's just a solid game. Um, and I don't know. It, it's got that. It, it's got the MMO feel, kind of. It's got mm-hmm. that loose ARPG feel. Um, so it, does it have multiplayer? I believe it does. But I never did it, so I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I I pick it up every once in a while on the 3DS just to practice some Japanese. It's got some pretty simple stuff, so you know. Cool, cool. But um, yeah, it's I'm curious about it, so I'll definitely be checking that out. Um, a big one that I've been waiting for is a uh, Sea of Stars. Uh, yeah, man, same. I I didn't know about it, and seeing that trailer it was just like, what is this? Yeah. This looks so good. Yeah, it's got uh same music composed by the composer for Chrono Trigger, who maybe made oh, the best yeah. soundtrack of all fucking time. <laughs> God, man, that soundtrack uh, is so good. The, I think I, I wanna I might be wrong, but I wanna say that he lost the the files to his music while making it for Chrono Trigger. Oh fuck really. And then he had to like do it from scratch again. Oh my god. And he like dude. the work was so intensive, like he like developed like an ulcer or <laughs> whatever. Oh my gosh! Yeah, dude. and he made maybe the most banging fucking soundtrack on that, on that machine. Like just, anyways, yeah. Uh, it's good. So, yeah. uh, but the gameplay looks good. Uh, the visuals look great. Um, yeah. So looking forward to that. Uh, definitely. I think it's that's gonna be a, like on everything. It's gonna be on every everything. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like that for me is gonna be a Switch game. I think, uh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, I want those visuals. Definitely on your preference. I'll probably yeah. get it on PC. But... Mm-hmm. Uh, any other? Oh, the Prime remaster, the Metroid Prime Shadow Drop. Oh, that's right. Remaster oh, yeah. came out of nowhere. I wish I had forty bucks. I could just blow on that. I don't. Is that out now? <laughs> yeah, it just came out right after the. Oh, really? Thing. Yeah. Uh, everyone says it looks great. Uh, I've been looking at some of the comparisons. I don't see that much of a difference, but I think that speaks more to how great <laughs> the first game. The looked, original, yeah. Uh, that I don't care what anybody says. That game holds up visually. It is beautiful. Um, uh, but yeah, always down to play Metroid Prime. That it's probably it's not my favorite game on the on the GameCube, but it's 
maybe my second favorite game. I don't know. I gotcha. Yeah, Wind Waker is gonna be. I think bad. I think you lent me your copy. Probably of Prime, and, I, and, but you, you let me Wind Waker and Prime at the yeah. same time. I think Sorry. I just got lost. In Wind it's Waker. too much. It's way too. <laughs> <laughs> that was I got lost part. in Wind Waker because I I never played it before. That, was, that game was incredible. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Prime is really good. It's it's one of. I, I'm not big into first person shooters. They just don't really do it for me. But like having like a first person exploration scanning game is like amazing. That's the dream. So uh gotcha. it's the it's actually what, what got me to play uh um No Man's Sky was just like being in space and scanning shit. I'm like, that's what I want. That's all I wanna do. Okay. Go around scan things. Gotcha. Just learn. I don't know. And then everything else that comes along with it. But um any other big ones and then of course the zelda stuff but oh yeah yeah i don't want to know you're you're it. avoiding it you're avoiding I've it you can't left, talk about it i've gone on hiatus i've left many many <laughs> communities i'm like i'll be back in like july or something see you guys later <laughs> yeah i don't want to know about it i don't want to talk about it i just try to hide i'm just gonna buy it it is and I'm, i want i want that surprise it's it's the thing i yeah, wish no. i could get again with breath of the wild right like yeah, yeah, and I wish I savored it more back then. So I, I'm gonna do that this time. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But I'm sure it's. Yeah, we I'm sure it looks yeah. good, right? I'm sure it's fine. Oh yeah, I'm excited for it. Yeah. I'm sure some somebody's upset about it or something. So, you know, the internet. It's a, it's reminding me a lot of Dead Space. You know, what it just looks. Fuck? It's got it's got like an aliens and dismemberment. Oh, now, so oh, it's very, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of corridors too. A lot of mm. corridors. No more open world. Mm. Huh. <laughs> Did you see that Game Boy stuff? That's great. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> um, oh, so let me just declare it right now. It's the fucking. It's it's uh it's high school guys. We're back. We're back in high school. Uh, the Game Boy Advance is hot coming Which out. Which is awesome. I never had an Advance, so maybe I'll pick this stuff. Uh, give this stuff a try. Have to. It, it's upsetting that you say that out loud. I want. I really want to play Minish Cap because you have to. <laughs> you have no choice. There's no choice. There's no cho- There's it no is the best two D Zelda. Best two D Zelda. All right. A Link to the Past is not a great game. Minish Cap is better, and I will. This is my hill. Here is my flag. A Link to the Past <laughs> is not a good game. You're not dead on it, right? Not, well, no, I will survive the attacks. It's fine. I've been okay. I've, my my armor is weathered, but I have been here for a long time. I've tried a link to the past at least like four or five times. I have it on every console it's available on, like literally mm. on every. And I just can't. I it's just not fun. It's just not fun. I those hitboxes are ass. But a Link's Awakening, they get it. It's so much fun. Link's Awakening's great. Uh, Minish Cap is peak. It's got some of the best, um, best pixel work on the on the Game Boy Advance, as far as I'm concerned. It looks um, gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, the colors are great. the The music's pretty good. Um, the the dungeons are really fun. Uh, I only got stuck kind of once, and I had to like kind of like, you know, peek at a at a guide but once you know it was one of those like oh eureka moments where you're like oh this is actually how it fits into everything um mm-hmm. the items are great um it's just overall great it's just a great game um so definitely check mm-hmm. it out meet by capcom figure that shit out capcom killing it <laughs> really yeah cool. Cap- capcom made that uh minish cap and it made uh the oracle games so uh, nice also available so before we uh we should go through the list but uh before we jump to the Game Boy stuff, Advance Wars is finally coming out. Um, That's right. Yeah. In April, I believe. So the game hit a huge hiatus. Yeah. So uh, that sounds cool. Uh, definitely want to play, but Mega Man Battle Network is coming out in April. So uh, <laughs> you know, you got to pick my poison here. It's like <laughs> that's ten games, man. <laughs> like I gotta. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot. Cause, uh, and then and then right after in May is uh. Is a Zelda, so I don't, I don't, I want to play Advance Wars. I'll pick it up on sale later in the year, probably. Um, but they're fantastic games, fantastic games. I really like them. Um, you played them, right? No, have you ever played Advance Wars? I have not, but I've wanted to. Yeah, you. I think you. You talked to me about them. Yeah, it's. Yeah, uh, they, they look like there's something I would enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know it's 
it's cutesy war yay uh, no, the, the yeah, you have heroes who have special abilities and all that stuff. Yeah, the mechanical design is really, yeah, the mechanical design is really fun in that game. All the 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 uh, the CO powers and stuff kind of switch up the whole like turn based thing. It's it's fun. Um, I actually like it better than Fire Emblem. <gasps> uh, oh, yeah, because I don't have something else I have not played. So don't you're good. <laughs> <laughs> well the new one just came out yeah so, i don't know i don't really like those games that much like the first one that released in the states uh, the game boy advance ones were pretty good but they started getting really weird and uh i they, they focus a lot on the relationship building parts of that game but yeah i've heard that and also i've heard that this new one is kind of toned back on that yeah i mean yeah so i i just really want like my fantasy medieval strategic combat um, yeah but it yeah they lean as of late they've been leaning i say as of late as of like 2009 <laughs> they've been like <laughs> leaning towards that kind of stuff and it's like i don't really want to be involved in that um what yeah. else uh but yeah advanced wars is really cool um and it, i think it's gonna have online multiplayer too so i definitely want to try it and uh, oh nice check that out you can do like map making and stuff um which is really cool. fun yeah um yeah so let's get into it the game boy uh the original og game boy uh is now yep. on the switch so you get really cool you get some really banger games like tetris yep how do you feel about tetris oh man what 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 can i say about Tetris? what could you say that about hasn't tetris? already been said well be original <laughs> figure it out right now you're on air go well you see the blocks come down um you throw them all around it, it's tetris <laughs> okay great it's tetris uh my favorite my favorite you memory can't beat that soundtrack my favorite memory of tetris, <laughs> tetris on the on the game boy is uh 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 hillary clinton playing it on air force one that's all i got <laughs> really yeah That's a thing. there's a pic there's a f famous photograph of her playing on the game boy on air force one and she's really? playing That's tetris so yeah um tetris is great play it uh what else kirby's dreamland you like kirby oh yeah all right I played that original a lot yeah. go play it it's there <laughs> um uh dj chronopolis says uh tetris attack is better than tetris all right man <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I, I don't. I've never played. What, is Tetris Attack on the Game Boy? Uh, should we expect it? Um, I've never played this. I don't know Tetris Attack. Um, no, there's so many Tetris. Yeah, like, te Tetra. Yeah. Uh, Tetra games. Tetra. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, what else? Link's Awakening DX. Go play that. Link's Awakening is great. If you haven't played the remake on the Switch, go play this one. Uh, although I like, I really love the remake. Uh, it is a gorgeous okay. game. You ever played Link's Awakening, Mike? No. Play that too. I I, on, I, I haven't uh, I haven't played many 2D Zeldas. I've the the first the, for context the first Zelda I ever played was Twilight Princess. The, well, I should say the yeah. first one I completed. Jesus. All right. I I played I rent I was able to rent Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. Did you beat it in I three just days. Progress. <laughs> no, I just did. I just did complete. Did you get the joke? I didn't right. beat this game. Yeah, I got. It. I got. I got it. It. Uh, <laughs> DJ says SNES and Game Boy and 64's Tetris Attack was Pokemon Puzzle League. Oh, I, oh, so it's so it's uh, was it Pon de Pon or whatever Pon de Pon? I don't know how to say it. It's another match game. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Your first game is Twilight Princess. That's wild. Um. I the first game I completed. Yeah, I did I play you. the others. I just never finished them okay. when I had them in rental periods. Rental. And I also just like because you'd rent them from Blockbuster, which doesn't exist anymore. Kids, uh, stop they... it. They know. <laughs> they they get enough of, the, of our. Oh my god, our our stupid generation can't get over their fucking nineties and is shoving it down everybody's throat. <laughs> like please. Okay. All right. Ugh. No. Ugh. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> Just like, like, why, why does everybody want to be their parents suddenly? Why is everybody in a rush to be like, remember the good old days with salt and pepper and like, you know, blockbuster? Well, I mean, I guess, like, well, shut we were in the we were in the nineties. We, we thought the eighties were really cool. We still think the eighties. Yeah, really but cool. it wasn't like it, it wasn't. Okay, it's not that it was. It's not that it was bad. It's just it wasn't like uh, 
like advertise constantly. You know what I mean? Like I got to see photos of my mom with her ridiculous hair and be like, <laughs> yeah, the eighties, but it wasn't like, Hey guys, remember the eighties? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, all right. Uh, like, the way, way media is consumed is completely different. now. Right, right? Right. Everything's pumped up to. That's what I'm saying. Just, That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I get you. I get you. Anyway. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I would just, uh, I would play on existing saves that were on <laughs> on the cartridges <laughs> on, on the cartridges yeah so i i had a very just varied playthrough from uh cartridge to cartridge that i would rent because <laughs> so, um, i i rented them multiple times over just different like periods of time I so see. just yeah uh sometimes i would see the ending sometimes i would just be somewhere in the middle so just like <laughs> uh, yeah i was just a kid i didn't uh, really know what i was doing dj says blockbuster still exists you buy a game at gamestop and then trade it in a week later oof oh look at him beating the system you got it <laughs> oh <dang. laughs> uh all right and then last game that's out now on the game boys mario land 2 which is cool but what happened to mario land 1 what I like Mario Land one. Yeah, I never played it. <sighs> well, Mike, you have homework now. <laughs> go fucking play this game. I, I got a lot of things to do. Yeah, man. well, yeah, and they're called play Game Boy games. Uh, Not, coming I soon. Don't know about that. Coming soon are the uh, the Zelda Oracle games, Oracle of Ages and Seasons. Those are pretty solid two uh, D Zelda games. Not as good as Minish Cap, but fun to play. Um, and then we got the, the this banger. Uh, the Pokemon trading card game. What? Oh yeah. Let me tell you I something. I didn't see that on the list there Dude. until you told me about it. I was like, like, oh fuck. So Pokemon comes out. I'm what ten years old. It's it's going bananas. It is bonkers, right? Uh, I mean, it was literally it was made for our generation it, because it's like the, the anime, the kids. Okay, you're everything. ten years old. It was on an adventure, dude. It was like a firestorm <laughs> of media and dude, products. Oh so good. And so at the time, my dad's working in Japan here and there and he shows up he comes back home and he's like i got you some and like one time he brings me this like ultraman and i'm like hell yeah what's an ultraman i've never (laughs) even heard of this and then the next time he brings me these japanese pokemon cards i'm like oh my god i got all these pokemon cards i can't read this and i was like (laughs) getting my friends cards and trying to like translate them on paper and, and sticking it to the back of the card so i can read it and stuff super into it but the trading card game on the on the game boy was like a godsend because I didn't have to ask my mom for money for fucking cards. <laughs> I was like, I got them all right here. I could just play the game. And I, yeah, it was oh, it was everything. Hold on, we got Perfect a first time, time chatter here. Yo, oh, I can't yeah. read it. You are you are Kendall Ramen. I'm just gonna call you Ramen from now on. The pause music in that game slaps. If you're talking about Super Mario Land, you are correct. Uh, Mario Land has the dopest music. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, I have to check it out. Yeah, he uh, Mario flies a plane. Uh, he he becomes a a Spitfire pilot. pilot. Oh shit! Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, Space Egypt. Good point. Uh, That's DJ. pretty good. He's just talking about Space Egypt. There's Space Egypt. You go to space, and it's Egypt. All right. Uh, another great game coming out soon for the Game Boy. Kirby's Tilt and Tumble, dope game. Really crazy. Couldn't believe it when I first played it. Having motion controls was a new thing. And just have like using, just flipping around my uh, my my Game Boy was like crazy, uh, just it, it, I mean it was it was cool, but it was like in concept, but at the same time like having a Game Boy with no backlight, like like trying to play like either in the sun or like under a lamp and then tilting it around <laughs> was kind of tough. That was like my first yeah. Kirby game. Okay. Oh, Ramen was talking about the trading card pause music. Fair enough. Oh, also good. Oh, I don't remember it though. I don't remember it. Yeah, I don't remember it. Oh, put a link, link, the, link, link a link a YouTube video to it, and we'll we'll play it. We'll listen to it. Um, what else? Uh, that's it. That's for, that's it for the Game Boy, for the OG Game Boy. Uh, the thickest of portables. Love that thing. Holding it is, <laughs> is a little. It's a little dicey for for little Oliver and his ten year old hands. Like this thing's heavy. Um, yeah. but actually I got a, my first Game Boy was actually a Game Boy Pocket. Um, I got the special ice oh, okay. blue Game Boy Pocket that came with, uh, a copy of, uh, uh, Zelda of, uh, Link's Awakening, not DX, regular Link's Awakening. And so I played that a lot. I, w- I want to say I had the same type of Game Boy, yeah. like as my first actual game, because I, we had a Game Boy in the house, but my mo- it was my mom 
Mom's Melee, she played Tetris <laughs> and Kirby on it. We'll I'm see. telling you, man, Tetris. Yeah. It's a great yeah. uniter. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. She she was definitely a gamer uh, when I was really young like that. Cause she had a SNES and what? Uh, we eventually got a Sega Genesis and she was playing the hell out of that. So That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, all right, let me check out this link really quick. Let's listen to the music. Oh no! Oh no! Hold on, <laughs> ads. Oh <laughs> jeez, that's so loud. I was listening to it on the background here while we were talking. Just it's blew pretty my good. ears out. I like it. Hold on. Uh, I don't know. Here we go. Oh, I don't want to make it too loud. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Icy. It's really, yeah. It's like you're going to a winter wonderland. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Listen to that. Good call, Ramen. Uh huh. I'm feeling it. I don't know if it, you can't hear it, can you, Mike? <laughs> I'm listening to it on my side. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yes, that's good. Good okay. stuff. All right, we're gonna leave it at. Very good. Thank stuff. you, Ramen. That was Thanks very. For... Thank you for the yeah. reminder. Yeah. We 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 both love music a lot, so. Yeah. Um. What else? So Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance. Yeah. This is this is like. Did we talk about it? We talked about it. Uh, no, actually we didn't. We just Minish Cap, but um. Okay. Yeah, Game Boy Advance is one of uh, game, the Game Boy Advance is like a weird. It came out in a perfect time in my life where I was learning how to make my own money, uh, which was to save all my lunch money and uh, not okay. eat lunch, and then use that to buy video games. Um, <laughs> all right. Ninth grade, uh, I got my first Game Boy Advance, and the first game I got with it was uh, was Golden Sun. And Golden Sun is coming soon to the Game Boy Advance, but I'm just saying, the Game Boy Advance is a special, special system for me. Um, and I'm like, I'm always chasing that dragon, man. I'm never gonna get it back. So here we are. We got <laughs> it, baby. We got it. Um, here are the games coming out f or that are already out. Uh, first one, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Uh, fantastic game. Fantastic game. Uh, it's, I, I, people say. I, mm, they say it's a spiritual successor to Mario RPG. I, I can I can test that a little bit. I don't know how you can be a spiritual successor if it's literally like the same like publisher and characters. <laughs> like everything. Like it just feels like a sequel. Uh in Japan. Oh, I got you, yeah. In Japan it's called Mario and Luigi RPG. Is that it sound it feels like it's like the next, you know what I mean? But anyways. Mm -hmm. Um really good game. Uh combat is super fun it's all like timing based so it's almost rhythm like like you jump like it's it's turn based right but like when you attack you have to like press the correct jump button assigned to either mario or luigi to do extra damage when enemies come to attack you you can dodge them so it's a lot of timing uh and it's super fun super super fun uh have you ever played it mike I don't know. no i have not your silence speaks and i never had a i, I said I, I had never had a game boy advance well <laughs> what the fuck I'm kidding. <laughs> fix that end of conversation yeah all right podcast is over i'm leaving <laughs> i'm done shut it down <laughs> what a jerk uh <laughs> i'm a jerk <laughs> yeah. i didn't, didn't have one anyways yeah it's a great game great music uh great animation too uh really just top notch um wario Wear. have you ever nice. played a wario Wear game uh, I might have played one at uh, someone's, uh, like a, uh, at a sleepover or something like that. It's like a game night kind of thing. Yeah, WarioWare is where it's at. It is. The they're pretty. Is. They're pretty ridiculous in the best way, though. They're like, I I feel like WarioWare is like it's like creative freedom unleashed. It's just like for sure. It's yeah. just wild. Uh, I like the idea of micro games. I like the idea of just having like a single idea and then you just got to execute it and you have like very little mm -hmm. time and you're just like, you have to wrap your head around. Like I got to pull nose hairs or something. What? How do I do that? And, and time's mm -hmm. up and you either got it or you didn't. Um, I love that. Uh, WarioWare is super fun. Um, Rhythm Heaven is also really good. Um, kind of the same basis of, for the idea. Just the same kind of like real quick, quick hits of games uh so it's super fun uh yeah oh. play that <laughs> go play it you have so much homework mike <laughs> uh minish I'm cap i'm not gonna do this homework <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, God damn it. Cap... like in school i'm not doing anymore <laughs> <laughs> minish cap is really good uh i don't know uh, anything else i can say about it 
if you haven't played it, you should. That's it. Uh, <laughs> like it's, it's got the best visuals on the Game Boy Advance. That's my opinion, and I'll fight anybody. It, it it's got this really cool like a uh, um, micro macro feel to it, right? So it's kind of similar to like Pikmin, where like when you're tiny, everything looks huge, and like the way they they get around that design is just real nice. Um, cool. Another game I haven't played, but I saw Liv playing last night actually. It's a Kuru Kuru Kururin, which is like a <laughs> okay. kind of like puzzle. Kuru Kuru is like is like spinning around or like getting dizzy. Um, okay. And so like you're spinning this like the stick is like spinning in space and you kind of just got to get it around like these stages. Um, oh, okay. I think I've seen that. Yeah. yeah it looks cool. Uh, I, I got to give it a try. I, I actually haven't played that one. Um, what else? Mario Kart. You like Mario Kart, Mike? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Mario Kart is great. Uh, there, well, I'll say Mario Kart 64 was fun mm. for the yeah. time when I was a kid. Yeah. And I now nowadays I just don't want to hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't can't. like like the the thing is like Mario Kart is like it's such like a it's like a heartbreaker for me because it's like those games are so gorgeous. Yeah. They look so good now, and I love 64 so much, and now they're just like. You're just gonna fucking hate your time if you're not good at that game because it's just like you're gonna get item spammed. Yep. And when you're winning, you're just gonna get yeah. item spammed. Yeah. It, <laughs> and then then you're just gonna fucking lose and hate. <laughs> That's like kinda... fuck, man. It's like Mario Party on wheels, pretty much. That's how I feel <laughs> about Mario Kart generally. It's just like it punishes yeah. you for winning, and I hate that. It's, it's like it's, it's absurd, and it's like so the thing is, you can't just take you can't take the items away because it's just boring. Though. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, Fuck, man. But the stages are cool. I love driving. The stages the stage, are so cool, man. But everything else, like I just don't want to play I love, it. I, I never, I haven't played any of the new ones like Mario Kart Eight. I haven't played yeah. any of that. But like, uh, I love that the characters just have all these different vehicles now. You change the tires on them; they all play differently i guess yeah. based on that there's, yeah there's uh it, it adjusts <laughs> your stats basically but yeah yeah, yeah i it's it, really it, cool it's the worst part of mario kart and like why why is there a blue shell it's fucking terrible i hate it a blue shell sounds terrible it's the can worst you, can you adjust it can you like turn certain items off i i think you can turn like all items smash? off i'm not sure but it doesn't okay. i don't know it's just you're right. It, it takes now too much strategy to enjoy if you want to be any good at it, and it sucks. Uh, yeah. yeah but, anytime I'd, I'd see people just playing it, it's always just everyone's hating on the first person, or the person in first, because they're the person who plays the most all the time. And yeah. Just, but then you just blue shell. It's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so uh, Super Circuit on the Game Boy Advance. I've never played it. Uh, I'll check it out. I'm sure it's fine. It's Mario no. Kart. Um, what else? Super Mario. Oh, this is hard. Super Mario Advance Four. Super Mario Brothers Three. <laughs> the whole okay. Name of the game. It's basically like Very... a remake of Super Mario Brothers Three for the Game Boy Advance. Also a form in Dragon Ball, I think, or something. Like yes, that. that's know. true. Yeah, it's definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you go purple hair. Uh, it's a new <laughs> tail. Um, oh my gosh! It's pretty good. Uh, it the, the visuals are revamped. The music's a little better eh, it's fine i'd just rather play the original of super mario brothers 3 and so if you've if you got access to this you also got access to the other one so this, this feels like a bit of a okay. waste uh, of a space for me but um gotcha oh hold up uh dj chrono is saying uh wario music slaps true uh final fantasy the oh, it's such a hard word to say theatrhythm three is out in a week i think it's a combination of one and two together i want to say I might be wrong, but it's like a collection of Two that. does make three, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah, fuck. All right, listen to me. <laughs> listen to me right now, Mike. He's strangling his microphone like it's my neck. I, I, <laughs> yes, I'm. 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 I'm Homer strangling. The, um, yeah, those those are great games. I love those games. If you like the music in those games, you're gonna love those games. The really good rhythm games and the arcade. Uh, if I ever go to a game center and I see it. I jump on that game because it's the one game I know I can play pretty well because I know the songs. Um, yeah. yeah. So coming up on the Game Boy Advance uh, before we wrap up the podcast, we've got Golden Sun. Fantastic RPG. I want to play that one. 
because I, I missed out on that one as well. I I got to rent it, but it was during college, yeah. and no time. No time. Because yeah. I was too busy playing Dragon Age Origins. <laughs> <laughs> Golden's and really Guitar good. Hero. Guitar yes. Hero too. God, Jesus, we played so much fucking Guitar Hero, Mike. Oh Dude, my we, god. We used to play for hours, like at a time. And just have tunnel vision. Tunnel vi- like for- everything would just start warping. It was just like, oh my god, I can't because I've been looking at the anyways. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh yeah, Golden Sun's great. Uh great music. Again, this is like this is the music banger list right here. Uh Golden Sun has some of the best, best music on the on that system. Um Gameplay is fun. Story is pretty good. It's split into two games, so I'm assuming they're gonna release the Lost Age, which is the sequel after. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you I would know ca- that. Yeah, you carried over your progress through like a password system. Oh, so pretty. That's cool. I'm, 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 I'm hyped for that. Um, nice. Yeah. Uh, DJ says love the navigating uh, dungeons and puzzles mm-hmm. in Golden Sun for sure. Uh, for sure. Uh, and like you get this whole like gin system where you kind of like apply different like creatures to different you assign them to different characters and the combinations of their elemental powers changes your elemental power there's a whoa. lot into it uh whoa it's not too crazy <laughs> yeah whoa okay yeah, yeah. it's not too crazy but <laughs> it's it's enough to keep the gameplay interesting um and there's this kind of like uh this extra mechanic where you're trying to like uh figure out you use basically use these powers you can use them in the overworld as well as in battle so you're like moving mm. things or whatever and trying to solve like the environmental puzzles to get to more gin to get you more powers is super cool. Um, That's cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. Yeah. Fire Emblem. First Fire Emblem on the Game Boy Advance. Good game. Play it. It's good. You don't have to have a girlfriend in that game. So it's great. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking hell. Anyways. Uh, uh, what else? Oh, uh, yeah. Kirby and the Magic Kirby Mirror. Kirby. Never played it, but I'm sure it's good. It's a Kirby Me neither. Game. Yeah. I'll, I'll, ch- yeah. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Um, Give it a play. Yeah. Uh, F zero. F zero. Max velocity. Yeah. I missed out on that one, so I'm, uh, I'm very excited to give that a try. Also missed out on that, but I like F zero and I like two D F zero. Uh, I like the SNES right, one, right. so I'm I'm always down to check that, that out. That, was that was that an arcade game? They have that in arcades. F zero. Uh, they have yeah the um yeah they have a uh, F zero. It's called. One? Oh, not the two D one. No, that was just a oh, okay. Super Nintendo. Um. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, uh, mode seven showpiece. You know the, the kind <laughs> okay. of sh- stretching and squashing and rotating of the of the of the field and stuff. Uh, oh, no, okay. they they do have a an arcade version of the GameCube game F Zero GX. Oh, okay, it's called F Zero AX. I've played it here. It's freaking awesome because oh. you, you sit in like the cockpit of like the Blue That's Falcon. Awesome. Yeah, it oh, feels dude. fantastic and it's so loud. Um, but that's a <laughs> it's actually a, a sega game and sega makes the best arcades so um yeah super yeah. fun it's kind of rare to find i've only seen it once like in the countryside <laughs> really okay. and it was at a place where like you don't you don't pay per game you just pay to go into the place oh okay. so i ended up like play whatever yeah I, I was there for like an hour i was just not i was that's the only awesome. idiot on this thing and i was like you guys are out of your minds <laughs> go play ping pong or whatever i'm gonna play this great it was it's a, it was like it's a place called round one yeah, and it's it was a whole building. It was like five stories high, and so like the first oh floor is just gosh. like gambling. The second floor is like there's like a roller rink and a mechanical bull, and like oh, Dude, why, why can't America do stuff like that? Anymore, <laughs> they man? they try. They call Damn, it Dave and Busters, dude. and they overcharge you to play oh, fucking no. pool. It's stupid. Um, uh, yeah, this place was like twenty five bucks, and it was like I had like four hours to do whatever I wanted. Um, there's like batting God, cages on the so roof. Cool. It's just oh, ridiculous. It's just out of hand. <laughs> I love That's that place. So cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, F Zero AX is awesome. Uh, so David Buster's sucks. David Buster's yeah. does suck. That's true. <laughs> does. DJ coming out with the with the hard facts. <laughs> David Buster's is ass. Don't do it. Don't pay money. Yeah. Um, and then uh, last game, uh, Metroid Fusion coming out soon. I've heard all all sorts of good things about yeah. uh, those old Metroids. If so. I still haven't uh, played a Metroid game. <laughs> so... I don't. I'm what? excited to play. <laughs> oh my god! What are you talking about? What? Uh, How? I don't, I don't know, guys. I'm not much of a Nintendo kid, so. Mike. I I bought a Nintendo system to play Pokemon, uh... and that was pretty much it. Oh my god. <laughs> 
You should play. I really like Pokemon. You should really play. Want to talk about Pokemon? <laughs> Wait, we gotta stop everything. You need to play Super Metroid, Mike. Like Super Metroid. Super okay. Metroid is so important. Like it's, it's so good. Do we? Should we stream it? Should we? Yeah. Like, yeah. You should stream it. I'm just gonna talk Netflix. over it and be like, I'm just gonna berate you the whole time. Why haven't you done this yet? Awesome. No, I'm uh, <laughs> the whole time. The whole time. Like, have you played this game yet? Uh, no. Yeah. We should totally should. I'm down for that. I would love to. All right. We'll uh, write it down. Yeah. Write it down. Make it a thing. DJ, write it down. Uh, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna definitely. Yeah, that sounds like a fun stream. Um, you can beat the game in a few hours, but um, okay. Yeah, it's if if you if you like that, you'll love Fusion. Um, Fusion has okay. a bit more talking. There's a bit more story to it, but um, yeah, it's um. Oh, DJ's coming in. He's what? DJ, I haven't we're bros. DJ, what the f- what? DJ, DJ, we're bros. DJ, he he gets me. What does he mean? He has it. You haven't beat Super Metroid either. What is happening here? <laughs> no, we Metroid need an intervention. <laughs> you you uh, all can't. The I've thing is, I, I love the yeah. concept of Metroidvanias. I think they're what super the fuck? cool. Well, how do you how do you <clears throat> love the concept of never played Super Metroid? That's ridiculous. How, well, do you love the? Do you love cons- it? <clears throat> Sorry. I, I've seen it plenty of times. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's the same. I'm not much of a Metroidvania guy. Listen, I'm not much of a Metroidvania guy either. I'm a good game guy. And so you should play Super Metroid because it's it's a <laughs> seminal, important game. It's some might say it's the uh <clears throat> it's the citizen Kane of game. <laughs> oh, oh, I wouldn't say oh. that. Wouldn't say... No oh one's beaten God. Super Metroid. What is happening? <laughs> yes. Guys. Yes. No. <laughs> this is not okay. It's so good. Oh, well, you guys can check it out when we play it. Oh god. Uh, uh, nowhere to go gaming. Okay. No. This is what we should do. This is actually what we should do. When we play it, if you're gonna play it on, you're gonna play it on your Switch, I guess. I guess so. Is okay. that where you can play it? Yeah. Yeah. So if you play it on your Switch, okay. we could actually join you as a party on the Switch, and we could all like watch you play it through the Switch. And jump in and help you when you need it. I can be like, what? Yeah, you can do like, like controller how? handling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you take control for me? Yeah, we could do that so that we can <laughs> we could all say we beat Super Metroid together. Oh my god! <laughs> all right, I don't really feel like doing this corridor. You guys? Got... Yeah, exactly. Like so you, you know what? It. This is a this is a hard red door. Somebody pick it up. <laughs> just go. Yeah, you can do that on the Switch online. Nobody does this. This is ridiculous. Nobody talks about this. This is an be, option. Like, horribly laggy though. No, it's not. I've done it. I've done it. It's fun. Oh my fuck. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Symphony of the Night is better than Super Metroid though. Is it though? Because I don't. Eh. I I I've played through. Isn't there like a new like uh like by the same creators of uh, uh Castlevania? Look, Castlevania's all right. I I just name for me. Yeah. Uh, for me, like it, it, it mostly stems from my uh, uh, playing side scrollers has never been my forte. Oh, where I just, I've always, I've always struggled with side scrollers personally. It's just mm-hmm. I never put enough time into them, and trying to jump in and play them has always just been a real pain for me. It's just like I, I, gra- I, I struggle grasping like jumping and like timing the right things, and doing all the things. So I've, I've always uh, uh, grown up with like third person uh type games or first person type games so all right uh, fine but you know so yeah side scrollers have always I, I've, I've always admired them though like watching others play side scrollers or yeah they're always tend to be quite gorgeous like they, it can be historically i'd say side scrollers are always pretty to look at i would i would just say that the, the reason why super metroid is pretty important is not just like the gameplay stuff but it's also like it 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 tells a story like environmentally and that wasn't a thing that was well done yet at the time there's almost right, no cool. speaking in that game i think it's just like the text in the beginning and at the end of the game um okay but yeah it's it, it it's like uh the atmosphere of it the gameplay's fun the puzzle solving's pretty good uh i'm not big into metroid combat though like i don't really like you know like the missiles and stuff like that that, that shit i i don't like I, if there was a way i could just like skip like the boss fights i would enjoy the game better but um but yeah, you should. Right. You, we, we, this is important. We gotta, you know, we gotta, you gotta, you gotta play it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Anyways, uh, uh, some Castlevania devs split into an indie company and made Bloodstain. Yeah, I just, like Castlevania for me is like cool, but 
like also it, i think i think castlevania is more hindered by the 2d stuff uh personally um i'd rather <laughs> i'd rather watch the show <laughs> the show's great uh i don't really want to play castlevania i don't know i prefer mike play some zelda games well but I mean, yeah, he needs to do that too. But shit, dude, like <laughs> fucking, we we got We got to do Super Metroid. This is ridiculous. Like, and the fact that none of you fools have ever played it either is mind blowing. Like, Mike, have you played Ocarina of Time? I never finished. Oh them, my! I said, I said, I, I, I didn't I could hear. Only, it. I only rented them. Yeah, I, I rented Ocarina and Majora, and I played the the save files on them. This is her. I, I mean, <laughs> I, never... I just I heard Majora's Mask. I didn't hear Ocarina of Time. I can't. Yeah, I was I can't. Like, yeah Twi- Twilight Princess was the first one I owned oh, and played through God. and finished. We're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna correct this. We're gonna correct this. Yeah. This is a problem. You have access it, it was to all so, of this. It was like, it was so funny in school at the time because I was still in high school when Twilight Princess came out. I think I was in in senior year. Yeah, and uh, th- th- I was like, "Wow, Zelda's great, you guys! So cool! I love this. This is amazing." Everyone was like, "It's not as good as Ocarina." <laughs> <laughs> like, like everybody i i was talking to was just like we played the other games dude like it's just not a, like it's cool but like it's like oh my god this is so neat i i mean <laughs> yeah it's okay i mean it's fine like twilight princess is okay but ogren of times like it's yeah. uh, it's the citizen know, kane no. of <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've seen it played through. I, I've, yeah, but I've it's not the same. Thing. It's I, I, I know would, it's I, not. No, I, I would. I'm not gonna try and say it is. No, no, no. But I'm saying, like, specifically for Ocarina <laughs> of Time, what it did for me was help help me understand the idea of like spatial reasoning in games in a way that yeah, I yeah. thought I already knew, and I didn't know <laughs> how like how it meshes with like design as well, because it's a game where you mm-hmm. can't like like when I played Ocarina of Time. I had already had like a Dreamcast, right? I played it like on the first time I played it was on the GameCube. So I had already mm-hmm. played like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 and you know like I wasn't it wasn't new to 3D. I wasn't new to 3D gaming. But when I played Ocarina of Time it was like there's something about like not being able to jump which at first I was like this is ridiculous. why can't I jump? This is horrible. But then like <laughs> understanding like well the reason you can't jump is because they they specifically want you to do these things because the puzzles are based on on your limitation of movement it was just like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like my you know my brain i was hitting you know i opened now up the seventh chakra it. right so <laughs> I, it's important that you play this uh no nah, i mean okay I'll, I'll play the game okay. yeah, yeah i i want to play majora's too because like the thing is i've i've always been more like interested in majora's um personally just based on how fucking weird that game is man like Majora's I Mask? absolutely love sur- yeah uh, I, I love surrealism I love just that atmosphere and the aesthetic of masks in general have always been something I've I've just like in real life too like just the art and uh, articulation just the crafting of masks and everything like that so like all of that like kind of stems like even a little bit from Majora's Mask just like because I, I it was a uh, I played it when it was new. I even saw the end. Like uh, we had like a some a friend's birthday party. Like he brought over his his golden cartridge of Majora's Mask, <laughs> and because uh, that was a limited edition at the time, I guess. Um, no, no, they're all golden. It, are they all golden? All, all I, Zelda I games come. Swore in. They were... No, all Zelda games come in some kind of gold edition. thing, except for gotcha, Breath of the Wild. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but uh, so yeah, I even saw the ending of the game because it's just like he brought over his n64 to his friend's birthday party and just like hey check this out i'm gonna beat the final boss of majora's mask i was just like wowed by it. like this is so fucking weird just going into a, a an insane moon it's crying and you're going inside there's a tree and there's a demon inside it's like what the <laughs> fuck is going on i was blown away like yeah. as a kid especially it's just it's wild yeah i um the first time i played majora's mask <laughs> was like on the Oh, actually, it was on the GameCube because I got to, like the crazy collection after, but I couldn't. I was mm. having a really hard time with it. But um, yeah, it's the time stuff is tough. That game is actually it, it can get tough if you. Don't I, know I was really game. interested by that too, like because just the fact that you had to really use the ocarina to uh, always revert back time or 
do that type. the the aspect of memorizing songs or writing songs down was super cool to me it's it's still one of the coolest things to me as just like as a gaming staple and i honestly i've talked to you about this before but i wish more i wish more games uh encourage writing things down yeah. or just making notes yeah, yeah rather than just like automatically noting it in the game or just having an encyclopedia in the game just like just encourage players to just interact with the game differently you know what i mean let me let me uh let me introduce you to a game called phantom hourglass sir you can literally <laughs> write notes on the game you know what i'm saying right? oh yeah, okay right. Right. yeah you gotta play more <laughs> zelda man what the fuck what's going on i'm pissed off no. really. um <laughs> all right we gotta do this like you know what we should do we should call it like uh mike's academy or like uh Mike's a cat. yeah where we just teach you how to play video games again we need to teach you the history <laughs> the fuck Mike- oh, come on you gotta make it a, just make it like uh, uh i don't know Mike replay just no you've Mike never played that's a problem it's yeah, exactly replay. it's a joke oh. <laughs> i'm upset uh <laughs> when when are we gonna play mother three mike's nostalgic gameplay no. run- oh god <laughs> oh oh it's terrible sound <laughs> uh mother three do also, you like DJ earthbound said, i love i love gold yeah, I love... <laughs> <laughs> a schmuck and a pancake uh do you uh <laughs> d- did you ever play earthbound do you like earthbound you into me yeah. no yeah yeah i yeah. never played it yeah. we could skip it's, that uh, it's got some interesting history we'll take it off the curriculum don't worry about it we'll stick to <laughs> okay <Metroid>, ocarina of <laughs> time um there's a 3ds rpg a series called Etrian Odyssey, where you draw on your map as you dungeon crawl. That's the way to do it. Yeah, just give everybody a touch screen all the time and actually use it. Oh, you mean for the Nintendo Online Library? I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think Metro, uh, Mother 3 is ever going to come out for the States. Uh, I think I think people begged for it too much, and they're just going to be like, no. Nah. And that's it. Like, whatever. Too bad. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh... I think that's it. I think we went over everything. Oh, Metroid Fusion. You got to play Metroid Fusion at some point. It's got really cool mm-hmm. designs. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's that's the whole list. We've gone over everything. Uh, anything we'll else? Done. Anything else you want to talk about? You want to just jump into Astroneer and start Astroneering? Just uh, start digging holes, man. Start digging holes. Uh, we're on the we're on the ice planet of Glacio. We got to turn that thing on and turn the planet mm-hmm. on. I, I don't know what happens when you turn them all on. I guess that's kind of the goal. I don't know either. We still have that so. that bio base thing. We haven't really done anything with that. That wild the grimace base. showed up and the 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 big the oh, eyesore. that's right. Yeah, we we can start that too. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, we're on another planet now, so we got to finish this planet and then we can go back maybe. Um, but yeah, I have well, no. The, this the the bio lab kind of like it creates a new little side quest that is pretty much something you have to do on every planet. Oh. So we should do it sooner than later. Is that what you're saying? Probably, yeah. It's not too. It doesn't take too much uh, investment. Mm. It's pretty quick. Hmm. Mm. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Um. Anything else you want to say, Mike? I think that's it, man. Are you sure? I think so. Uh, welcome to the podcast. Welcome. Uh, I just want to welcome everybody to the podcast. We're here. Uh, thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, we're going to be talking <laughs> about um, the Nintendo Direct. Nobody tell me anything yep. about Zelda. Just don't tell me. Don't even. I don't want to hear it. I'm sure it's cool. New one, right? It's going to be great, right, Mike? That's right. Yeah. There's. Gonna, I think so. Uh, I think it's going to be very good. It's going to be like. Uh, They're selling it for seventy dollars. It has to be good, right? Are they? Is, oh, is that official? Yes. I thought that was just like a. It is official now. Yeah. Okay. Pikmin's going to be sixty though. So. All right. I mean, I'll I'll pay it. You know. Zelda, 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 it's Zelda, true. Zelda, Zelda. It's true. It's true. It's true. All right. Uh, let's dip, and then we're gonna jump into, uh, Astroneer. Make sure you guys follow, like, subscribe. What are the other verbs I gotta do? Uh, join, join the Discord. Join the Discord. Read the novel. Um, check uh, out the wiki. Check out the wiki. Uh, learn the dances. Find and... us on Fiverr. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, thanks for. We're not. We're not gonna link you to anything. We're not... to find it. <laughs> That's not true. Hold on. Wait. Type box. Do your thing. 
Oh, he already, that bot already did it. Okay. Well, there's your Discord stuff. If you join the Discord, you get yeah. everything else, basically. You get, you get, there you go. That's, that's the gateway. The, that's the gateway, right? Just the gate. The Discord yeah. is a gateway drug to the rest of that's nowhere right. to go. Uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, thank thanks, you. Thank you. Thanks for chi chiming in uh, to the boys out there. Appreciate you yeah, immensely. We do. And uh, please put as much pressure on Mike to play. <laughs> I can't believe none of hey, you guys we, have played if, fucking Super Mario. If we stream it, it'll happen. I know. That's it's just, just how it's, how it's gonna be. It's so upsetting. I'm disturbed. All right. Um, <laughs> Super Metroid, you, guys. You should, be, it's just, you should be excited. I'm excited you that you get. Yeah. Who, who, yeah. This will a, be our first time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm just. Yeah. You're right. I I should be. You you know what? You're right. I need to change. My attitude. You got it, Mike. You're right. We got. We got. I gotta. I, we gotta be better. I gotta be better. All right. We're gonna go to space. Uh, like, subscribe, all, right. all that stuff. Uh, red in the stream. Uh, Mike, anything you want to say before we go? Goodbye, everybody. Have a good day. Join yeah. us on the Astro stream. Right. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.